Hey, Daniel, how you doing? Um, first off, welcome to the NBA. Um, this was your first game action in about nine months, dating all the way back to college. How have you changed physically in terms of getting ready for the NBA? And how did, do you think that tonight went for you? Um, you know, over the, since my last game, you know, um, through the pre-draft and uh, everything leading up to the draft, you know, I um, worked on a lot on adding a lot of lower body strength and uh, just overall physical strength, you know, to help me um, compete with these guys in this league. And um, I thought that was super important. And um, um, that's something that I built on and I'm just going to continue to build on. Thank you. Next up, we'll go to Cam. Hey, Daniel. Uh, Ty congratulated you on the, the space you amount of space you took up down low. Is um, is that what you expected through your workouts and through your through your training that you that you, that's what you would bring to the floor, taking up space down low and getting rebounds and putting up shots? No, uh, yeah, for sure. You know, that's um, something I definitely think I can do is um, taking up space. Um, like you said, rebounding, blocking, getting up for blocking shots, and even on the offensive offensive side, just. Uh, trying to uh, create room um, and space for uh, the guys to drive through and stuff like that. Next, we'll go to Miriam. Hey, Daniel, um, congrats on, I guess, your first uh, NBA action. Thank you. Right on. Hey, so wondering the, what, what you're learning from some of the vets on this team so far, like the, the Serge Ibaka's and, and those guys, what, what, what tips have you picked up? You no, know, I'm learning a lot. and I'm, um, those guys are definitely a good group of guys that you know, any rookie would be blessed to, to have on their team. And they teach me a lot every single day, um, a lot about defense, um, uh, you know, speaking up, you know, communicating, and you know, knowing where to, knowing the right coverage and uh, how to get in position and all stuff, all those types of stuff. And so, you know, every day I learn something new from those guys and I'm just going to continue to, uh, you know, be a good listener because it's definitely helping. David Y, go ahead. Hey, Daniel. Um, you know, obviously this is a veteran team, you know, that has championship aspirations and whatnot. Um, but what do you see, you know, in terms of your skill set that perhaps, you know, the team doesn't have or, you know, what you can bring in order to try and kind of crack that rotation a little bit and, and get minutes out there on the floor as a rookie? Um, you know, I definitely think I can, um, you know, just continue on, on, on the floor, um, taking up space on offense and defense, you know, blocking shots and trying to rebound and, um, you know, doing those little intangible things for sure. And I think the, just trying to focus on that and just continue to do those things are important. Thank you. Next up, Farbad. Hey, Dana, a little bit more of a lighthearted question. You know, we've seen some rookies get, like, their cars, popcorn, and we've seen the Clippers kind of play pranks on some of their rookies. And how, how has the dynamic been with you and all the players? Is that fun dynamic still there in a COVID-type season, or is it much more business? Um, you know, we got uh, we got a good group of guys. Um, um, like we like you said, we're a senior-laden – or a veteran-laden team, and um, – the, vet, the vets on the team are really good, you know, really cool. And um, just as me as a rookie, I just got to continue to, uh, you know, do what they ask me to do. And I think I'll be fine. Thanks, Daniel. That's all the questions we have for you tonight. Have a good one. Thank you. You too. Thanks, everybody. That's it for tonight. We'll see you tomorrow.